Dan Safera dedicated his life to bettering the city of Warren. He was probably best known as the mayor, but he also served in city council and represented the city in the state legislature in Columbus. Tonight was Safera's last city council meeting. He's retiring. First News reporter Jason Surjack was at that meeting, and this story is new at 11. He served as a city councilman and as a state representative. He's also been Warren's only four-term mayor. But tonight was Dan Safera's last night representing the city he's always called home. It was a move whose time had come. It's been a long road from 1972 to now, but I've always been proud to serve the citizens of Warren, and, and I think the city's in good hands now. And uh, it was just time for me to move on. Safera first got into city politics because he opposed federal government sponsored subsidized housing projects. He got hooked and never looked back. It just got my blood and I love the city and I just hope I can do some good for the city and I'm just proud of what I've done. Safera's political ambitions also led others to represent Warren. Um, I actually wanted to become a councilman because when I was a young guy in high school, Dan's a few years older than me, uh, Danny was a teenage councilman. Safera says his toughest political fight was to build the Trumbull Correctional Institute. Safera was known for favoring short council meetings. Now he'll keep an eye on things from a distance. Well, I'm not going to miss coming to council meetings as much, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I'll just follow things in the paper, but I've been through it all, so I'll just keep aware of what's going on. Safera took part in 16 elections across his political career and only lost twice. In Warren, Jason Surjak, WKBN 27 First News.